Yep. The devil, I lied to you, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you. God. My life is a struggle right now. I ain't gonna lie. You know, Brooklyn was better, by the way. I'm not gonna lie to you. Brooklyn was better. Even though I was struggling, the protection of God was always with me. Why? Because I would go when my enemies are chasing me. When the devil is coming around, you see this right here? It's a Bible. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. It shit save life, nigga. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I say anything negative, it's the goddamn devil who don't want you to know the truth. But the God side of me, I was gonna tell you the truth, man. That little negative, negative voice that be coming out here may really be bothering me, be causing me suicidal thought and all that shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, but this right here is save me. And that right there, yeah, the church saved me back in Brooklyn. I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. So if I was to die tonight, at least I got down on for my history. So any for me, I'm ready to go anytime, by the way. I ain't gonna lie to you, by the way. I'm ready to go anytime. Before, previously, that like couple of hours from now, I already telling myself that I'm ready for hellfire already, nigga. I'm ready to go and sleep in hell. I ain't gonna lie to you. But coming down here at the church and shit, that refreshed my mind, you know. Yeah, because I know everyone around me, they're all fit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. This so-called best friend, they're all fit. I ain't gonna lie to you. They all fit. I ain't gonna lie to you. The person who you depend on, they fit too. I ain't gonna lie to you. They fit. They all fit. They all gonna tell you, yeah, when you need help, come to me. Yeah, come to me. But bitch, when you, don't, when you need help, what, they, what I did, there ain't no one there. This my only help. That's why you go, that's, that's some real shit right here. Because someone else might be going through it. In some part of the world and shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. This the real help. Before then, trust and believe this. I ain't all I'm always smoking weed by the way. Always smoke weed, yes. It calm me down. But today I ain't got no weed up. I'm out here at the church. The first night there I was relaxed a little bit. I love to relax. So I'm gonna continue on to read and finish. Genesis chapter 1 Like I wanted to Because the devil didn't want me to So now I have a little bit of strength Because I having suicidal thought earlier I ain't gonna lie to no one dog This is for me If I make it in the future It's for me to look at it To say At least you are alive now Oh, I can be gone at any time. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Bullet can fly anywhere and shoot me in the back of my head. I can be gone, nigga. So with that being said, let's get back. In the beginning, God created, created the heavens and the earth. You can find that on John 1, chapter 1, 1 and 3. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. Today there is still darkness. Yeah. Anything negative is considered to be darkness, by the way. And then we're going to continue. And the verse and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So think about it. Where I'm sitting here as right now, it's all uh, water. If you don't believe me, bring your tools, your machine, your equipment, and dig down what you're going to see. It's all water. Don't forget that. Let me continue. 
Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light and that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. He divided the light from the darkness. So, darkness was already there before light. So, he separated them. So, I guess the light was in the air that we can see. All the light was wherever the Lord wanted it to be. But if the light is separated from darkness, that means what? So, I'm going to be patient. This for me is not for your opinion, not for no one's opinion. This is my life. I'm the one with a broken hand. I'm the one with that right there. That knuckle right there. Not no one else that I know about. So what that mean? Darkness separated from the light. Are you not seeing the night? And are you not seeing the day? Are you not seeing the morning sun shine? You see that? God, so I'm on Genesis chapter to one verse five that's five okay god called the light day and the darkness in called night so the morning so the evening and the morning were the first day remember this it's two so that means look at it look at this so the morning and the evening was the first day so there is two that's coming in the evening and the morning was the first day we have morning wow that's very beautiful man what a wonderful god for real man i ain't gonna lie man yeah i ain't gonna lie it's good yeah yeah the morning and the night was the first day and then God said, let there be a ferment in the midst of the waters. And let it divide the words from the waters. You know what a ferment in the midst? The ferment in the midst. The midst in the middle. The ferment. The form was separated. Yes. Though God made the fire, the ferment, and divide the waters, which were on the ferment from the waters. Which were above the firmament, and it was so, and God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, Let the words on the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. We own the dry land. We own a desert. We own the forest. We in the jungle. It's still a dry land. And God said, Call the dry land earth. So, I just have a question. 
Wow, that's nice. I just have a question. So, is the ocean part of the earth? Yes, it's still part of the earth because you need the water. The land go along with the water. The land go along with the water. Because the land is actually for the people. And the people need water. You understand that? The land go along with the water. The people need water. So there have to be water. Okay. So I'm on 10. Chapter. Genesis chapter 1 verse 10 and God called the dry land earth and the gathering of the waters he called sea and God said that it was good then God said let the earth bring forth grass the herb that yields seed and the fruit tree that yield fruit according to it comes whose seed is in itself you heard it who see is in itself so that's why when I'm when I'm smoking my loud and I don't see see I'll be wondering what's be going on no I'll be wondering for real what be going on where's the sea at well loud don't have no sea though how do they plant loud I don't know maybe they take the scene loud and put it in the soil I don't know <laughs> Yeah, at least I'm laughing, nigga. For the devil want me dead anyway. The goddamn devil want a kid dead, but the kid is the only one that can destroy his temple. You hear that? You are the only one that can destroy your temple. Your temple is by the word of God. It didn't say it was the house. Jesus said. The temple is you. The good things that you do, the negative that you stay away from, the positive that you attract people to, the how to make what love life that you attracted to. Even though sometimes you don't have no money, but you see your brothers and your sister, they don't have it. You sacrifice and bring down wealth. But the devil don't want to see that. The devil don't let us see that. The devil love to see people fighting. People hurting. People getting mad at each other. That's why her is there to smoke and calm your mind. Because this, right, and once that is overtaken by the negative talk, it just call it just you just away a few seconds away from death. Promise you that. If this is negative, you got a lot of negative thought in your mind. Especially some of us, we are in it and we are having suicidal thought. So we all need to be praying. I pray for everyone, especially my brothers in jail, especially my brothers and my sister in jail. Especially my brothers and my sister in jail. I'm holding the Holy Bible in my hand. I've been praying for them even when I knew them or not. When I was in Rocket Island, I was praying, praying for them, praying for them, praying for them. Pray for your brothers and your sister. Forget about what the police said, what kind of crime they did or whatever. You're not the judge. Remember that. You are not the judge. God is the judge. So don't judge no one. The brothers and the sisters in jail, trust and believe. Don't forget them. Don't forget them. Love them. If you care about yourself. You may not necessarily have to give them something, but at least pray for them. Keep that in your mind. Because you never do one day they will come out. When they come out, they're going to have new mentality that is even having to be better than those who are outside. Trust and believe it.
those who in jail they read they're trying to improve their life too yes so basically i'm gonna go back here to that herb so the herb is on genesis basically the weed is we ganja whatever you call it okay it's on genesis chapter 1 verse 11 11 when you, if you can if you don't know what is 11 do this again the prayer hand and then do this that's 11 right there the prayer hand mm -hmm. and then this that's it that's it right there that's 11 for you right there so anytime they say we i like that anyway so then god said let the earth bring from grass the herb that yields see and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to it can who see is it is mm, itself on the earth and it was good and it was so in the earth brown front grass herb that you see a calling to it kind and a tree your fruit who see is in itself a corn to it kind and God saw that it was good you heard it God saw that the we was good so anyone that tell you that the we ain't good you already know mm-hmm it don't matter who they are. Because some family member can tell you, no, ain't good. you wasting your money. But guess what? When your mind is messed up and you go and do some negative shit, they all going to come and judge your ass. Trust and believe that. They all going to judge you if you do some wrong, some wrong shit. So keep your mind right. I smoke weed, but I ain't got no weed right now. I ain't going to lie, bro. That's how it is. So the evening and the morning were the third day, and then God said, Let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and to let, let them be for sign and season for days and years. Let there be for light in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Then God made two great lights. The greater light, the greater light, the greater light to rule the day, which is now. The greater light is now. The daytime. Okay? So now, and the lesser light to rule the night so think about it when you're sleeping how long it take how long you sleep and how long the day be the day be long but your sleep be shut they said i don't know who said it but i see this but most people think they gotta do eight hours sleep that's what they said the lesser day and the greater day the greater day is the inner day uh, uh, the lesser light and the greater light too light at least I'm trying by the way trying to learn this thing right here man because I'm mentally messed up by the way so that's why you see me starting all over again in Genesis so I'm on chapter 16 but now I passed that because that was the greater light in the lesser light to rule the greater light rule the day lesser light rule the night and he made the stars also god set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light on the earth he set them to give light to the earth that's what the bible said and then we're going to go to verse 18 and and rule over the day and over the night and to divide the night from the darkness and God saw that it was good so the evening and the morning were the fourth day and God said let the waters abound with an abundance of living creatures let birds fly above 
the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and living things that move with wish. The waters abound according to their kind, and every wing bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the birds multiply on the earth. So God and the, so the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God saw, said, Let the earth bring forth living creature and call it according to it come. Cattle, creeping things, beasts on the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so, and God made the beast of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, even everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind, and God saw that it was good, and God said, let us make man in our own image. According to the, according to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping things that creeps on the earth. So God created man in His own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the earth. And over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God saw the sea. I have given you every herb that you see. Which is on the face of the earth. And every tree whose fruit you see to you shall be full. It shall be full. And also to every beast of the earth. Bird of the air and to every everything that creep on the earth which there is life i have given every green herb for food and it was so then god saw everything he made and indeed and it was good so the evening and the morning were the six days though the was the six days amen i'm gonna stop it right there